everyone welcome back to GK today i am Nidhi Sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 4th and 5th of december 2022 let's start which state has hired management consultancy mckinsey to achieve the target of doubling its gsdp so basically uttarakhand state government has hired mckinsey which is a kind of global management consultancy why to help in achieving the target of doubling its gross state domestic product in the next 5 years okay and the state has a target of doubling the gsdp from 2.73 lakh crore rupees to 5.5 lakh crore rupees in the next 5 years fine and mckinsey has signed a 2 year agreement with the state government of uttarakhand under the sashakt uttarakhand mission fine so this is the state uttarakhand now uttarakhand was also in news because recently the uttarakhand state government has tabled the uttarakhand public service horizontal reservation for women bill 2022 okay and it seeks to implement the system of 30% horizontal reservation for women in the state and also the government has tabled Uttarakhand Religion Freedom Amendment Bill 2022 why to introduce strict laws regarding religious conservations in the state fine so if you are asked that which state cabinet has floated the bill to implement 30% horizontal reservation for women in the state so this is the state Uttarakhand okay next question says which country has successfully used the steam to propel moon spacecraft so the country japan's space agency jaxa has recently announced that it has successfully used the steam to propel its spacecraft which was actually launched as one of the payloads aboard nasa's orion spacecraft okay and as per the jaxa this is the world's first successful orbit control beyond low earth orbit that uses a water propellant propulsion system fine so this is the country japan can you tell me any one maritime exercise that india conducts with japan do let me know in the comments next is hornbill festival is the flagship cultural event of which indian state so hornbill is the very famous festival of the state nagaland and also it is called as the festival of festivals okay so basically it showcases nagaland's rich culture and uh, as we know that india assumed the g20 presidency on 1st of december 2022 and the 23rd hornbill festival 2022 also began on the same day in nagaland okay so it is organized by the government of nagaland to encourage the inter tribal interaction and to promote the cultural heritage of nagaland okay and hornbill which is actually the nagaland's cultural icon is found in the indian subcontinent and in southeast asia right now apart from it india has recently supported the uae's proposal to include the element of digitization in the international maritime organizations next strategic plan okay and uh, actually uae has proposed 
the adoption of a maritime single window system as a part of digitization initiative so as to help in resolving the regulatory issues that are actually faced in the marine industry and this was announced by ministry of ports shipping and the waterways fine so if you are asked that india supported the proposal of which country to include the digitization in international maritime organizations strategic plan so this country is uae okay next is agni warrior is a bilateral defense exercise held between india and which other country so the 12th edition of exercise agni warrior recently concluded in the state of maharashtra and this is a bilateral exercise between singapore and indian army okay so it involved the joint firepower planning execution and the use of new generation artillery equipment indigenously manufactured artillery guns and howitzers were also participated in the final phase of the exercise only two things are important agni warrior is the exercise between which two countries so india and singapore and which state was the venue for this event answer would be maharashtra now apart from it the indian army is also engaged in the bilateral exercises with five countries underway in november 2022 why to improve the interoperability so the 18th edition of india us army exercise named as yuth abhyas was recently held in the state of uttarakhand and other ongoing exercises are for example exercise austra hind okay so this is conducted by india with the country australia in the state of rajasthan the next is exercise agni warrior with singapore just we have talked about it then next is exercise harimau shakti this exercise is conducted by india in collaboration with malaysia and next is exercise garud shakti and garud shakti is the exercise between india and indonesia so these are the five important countries with which we are currently conducting the exercises okay next is iit madras has partnered with which country to launch the center for energy to work on united nation sustainable development goals so iit madras is partnering with the australian universities why to launch aice means australia india center for energy okay so iit madras and the australian universities are leading the center and uh, it aims to work on united nation sustainable development goal and also it aims to promote the collaboration among the universities research institutions and the industry from both the countries in the energy sector okay so iit madras has partnered with australia for this purpose now apart from it india has recently provided the financial assistance of 100 million dollars to the maldives government to tackle the economic challenges that are faced by the country maldives okay and the financial support of 100 million dollar to the maldives government will be provided through subscription in maldives government domestic treasury bonds by the state bank of india malay okay so if you are asked that india provided financial assistance of 100 million dollars to which country in december to tackle the economic challenges answer is maldives okay this figure is important next is which indian city is placed at 22nd rank in the prime global cities index q3 2022 so mumbai city has been placed at 22nd rank in this particular index and it is released by property consultant that is knight frank okay so it said that all three indian cities named as mumbai bangalore and new delhi registered an increase in average annual prices and this global index actually measures the annual price appreciation of premium residential properties so bangalore has moved up to 27th rank while new delhi has moved to 36th rank and the rank of mumbai is 22nd fine right? next is which indian state has named prasoon joshi 
as its brand ambassador. So the state government of Uttarakhand has recently named Prasoon Joshi as the state's brand ambassador and he is actually the native of Uttarakhand state and why is important because he is a prominent member of the Indian advertising and the media industry okay and before this month the state government has conferred the Uttarakhand Gaurav Samman honor to him for his contributions to art literature culture and advertising and his campaign on malnutrition polio eradication women's empowerment student suicide and such bharat abhiyan have been popular okay so the new brand ambassador of uttarakhand state government is prasoon joshi what is the theme of the world aids day 2022 first of all we observe this day on 1st of december annually why to create awareness among people about hiv its transmission diagnostic testing and treatment options okay and this year theme is equalize okay so basically it aims to focus on the practical solutions to reduce inequality and put an end to the life threatening disease aids fine now don't forget that central adoption resource authority has observed adoption awareness month in november okay and as part of this month kara organized 10 state orientation programs 200 social media campaigns and also it held meetings with prospective adoptive parents and talking about kara it is a statutory body of ministry of women and child development okay so you can be asked that which month has been observed as the adoption awareness month by the central adoption resource authority answer would be november next is what is the name of the paperless airport entry facility launched by the civil aviation ministry so the dg yatra paperless airport entry facility is now functional at three airports in the country which are these delhi's indira gandhi international airport second is bangalore airport and third is varanasi airports okay so based on the facial recognition technology dg yatra aims to achieve seamless and contactless processing of the passengers at the airport and by march 2023 four more cities will be added which are these hyderabad kolkata pune and vijayawada fine next is which indian institution has been recently hit by an alleged ransomware attack so the servers of aims remains hacked for over a week after aims reported a failure in its server so the national investigation agency has joined the investigation into the alleged ransomware attack with different agencies for example india computer emergency response team it is written as cert in delhi police intelligence bureau central bureau of investigation and ministry of home affairs okay so aims has been recently hit by this ransomware attack what is the full form of aims all india institute of medical sciences next question is Three Indian origin women were selected as superstars of a STEM in which country? So three Indian origin women are among the 60 people who have been selected as Australia's superstars of a STEM. And what is a STEM? Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So this initiative aims to break the society's gender assumptions about the scientist, and also it would increase the public visibility of females and non-binary people. So what are the names of these three Indian origin women? First is Neelima Kadiala. Then second is Dr. Anna Babu Ramani and the third name is Dr. Indrani Mukherjee. Okay? These three names are very very important. Here correct answer would be Australia. Next question is India's biggest yoga center has been constructed in village Mantalai in which state or the union territory so india's biggest yoga center has been constructed in village mantalai in the union territory of jammu and kashmir and this village will actually house the international yoga center at the banks of tabi river so union tourism ministry has sanctioned 9782 crore rupees 
for the construction of this particular center you can also be asked about the village that india's biggest yoga center would be constructed in jammu and kashmir in which particular village so answer would be mantalai fine so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now we'll come to our revision section which three categories we are covering today first of all we'll see important brand ambassadors then at second we'll talk about some chess related current affairs and at third we'll discuss some tennis related current affairs okay let's start with the brand ambassador climate activist vanessa nakate who was appointed as unicef goodwill ambassador is from which country so don't forget that vanessa nakate has been appointed as unicef goodwill ambassador this year and she is from the country uganda which financial services company has appointed four indian badminton stars as its brand ambassador so recently mastercard has appointed four indian badminton stars as its brand ambassador and who are they first is lakshmi sen second is kidambi shrikant third is satvik siraj rankireddy and the fourth name is chirag shetty okay which indian personality has been named the season ambassador of british councils india uk together 2022 a season of culture this is ar rehman the very famous singer which indian personality has been signed on as the brand ambassador of garud aerospace answer would be ms dhoni next is navin shrivastav has been appointed as the ambassador to which country recently he became the ambassador to nepal who became the first indian brand ambassador of the luxury label louis vuitton this is deepika padukone Which cricketer has been appointed as the brand ambassador for Karnataka Brain Health Initiative? So answer would be Robin Uthappa. Okay. Now let's start with tennis-related current affairs. Who is the winner of the U.S. Open tennis tournament 2022? Winner of U.S. Open tennis tournament is Carlos Alcaraz. Which tennis player, none of the big three? became the world number 1 men's player in the atp ranking here big 3 refers to rafael nadal novak djokovic and roger federer so usually what happened is the two sports were occupied by these three sports person all the time but this time who's world number 1 men's player in the atp ranking this is daniel medvedev who's the winner of the french open tennis women singles 2022 title it was won by iga swiatek okay and talking about the men singles in the french open winner was rafael nadal which tennis player won the italian open 2022 women single title again the winner was iga swiatek and uh, italian open men single title in 2022 was won by novak djokovic stepano tsitsipas who won the monte carlo masters 2022 is a tennis player from which country so recently he won the monte carlo masters and he is a tennis player from the country greece iga swiatek who has become the women's tennis association world number 1 is from which country so she is from the country poland you have to tell me rafael nadal and novak djokovic belong to which countries ashley barty who retired from her tennis career recently is from which country so she is from the country australia which tennis player won the mexican open title 2022 it was won by rafael nadal okay now at last we'll talk about some important chess related current affairs which indian player won the parisian open a chess tournament 2022 in serbia it was won by pragnananda which indian chess player won the norway chess group a open chess tournament so winner was r pragnananda what is the name of the mascot of 44th chess olympiad which is to be hosted by chennai in 2022 so the host of 44th chess olympiad was tamil nadu and what was the mascot for this game so answer is thambi which indian chess player won the la roda international open chess tournament it was won by d gokesh can you tell me d gokesh is which number of grandmaster in india do let me know in the comments Which Indian chess player won the 2022 Reykjavik Open tournament? So correct answer would be Pragnantha R. Which city is the host of Senior National Chess Championship 2022? So Kanpur is the host of this particular championship. Nodir Beg Abdul Satrov, the youngest ever world rapid chess champion, is from which country? So he belongs to the country Uzbekistan. 
Who you find who won the 2021 Women's Speed Chess Championship is from which country? So she is from the country China. Fine. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minu Zatsana signing off.